Marcem, Abneus Hall. Are you ready to give up who you once thought you were? I am. Ready to sacrifice everything you held close. I am. of the dark, you will come into the light. Never forget the tenets you have sworn to uphold. Stay your blade from the flesh of the innocent. Hide in plain sight. Never compromise the brotherhood. forward. You are a hidden one.
This is where we belong. Exploring this vast and wondrous world. Its treasures call out to be discovered. Its ancient secrets beckon us ever deeper into the unknown. The further we journey from the safety of the light, the greater the rewards and the dangers. This world, it is for us. Here, together, we can build ourselves a home. Slaughtered everyone. A huge army. They attacked without warning. Now, for the maiden bloodletting. Such miserable luck. To die by the sword you helped forge. Welcome to the Lords of the Fallen Technical Showcase. Here at Hexworks, our goal has always been to create the most immersive game experience possible. Today, we're journeying to Skyrest Bridge, one of the game's early locations, to demonstrate just some of the impressive ways Unreal Engine 5's state-of-the-art technologies have helped us deliver on this ambitious vision for our upcoming action RPG. We want players to feel fully immersed in our world by playing as their own unique virtual persona. To achieve this, we've used a combination of technologies, including 3D scans of real people and UE5's own character customization tech. Players can create unique faces and bodies by dynamically morphing between a huge range of shapes before finessing the finer details. Our extensive selection of armor sets seamlessly adapt to whatever shape the player chooses. It's really important to us that we represent as wide a proportion of our audience as possible. Being able to customize your hero in Lords of the Fallen is only the beginning. Each and every one of our characters is incredibly detailed using high resolution textures. Get up close to any surface in the game, like this tunic for example, and detail texturing provides incredible levels of micro detail. How these objects move and behave is also crucial for player immersion. UE5's Chaos Physics Engine facilitates advanced simulations for clothes, chains, hair, belts, and a whole lot more. This helps to substantially enhance the secondary motion in all our characters making their movements look much more lifelike. The lighting in Lords of the Fallen takes full advantage of Unreal's brand new Lumen GI. We've been able to light our complex environments in real time, meaning we can immediately see the effect of a light bounce, for example, without waiting for the traditional slow baking processes. Watch how the lighting reacts as we move our light source around this environment. Global illumination like this can be quite demanding on processing, so 
we also make use of emissive shapes to add additional details to the lighting of any space. We can then fine tune these light bounces on our nanite meshes, providing our world with impressive levels of detail and minimal impact on performance. Perhaps the most important element of Lords of the Fallen is the ability to travel between two worlds, the realm of the living, Axiom, and the realm of the dead, Umbral. We've created our own custom tool set within UE5 that allows us to intricately craft these two environments side by side and seamlessly swap between them. This means our artists and designers can ensure these worlds feel intrinsically linked, like two sides of the same coin, even if one side is decidedly more horrific than the other. On behalf of Hexworks, Thanks for watching today's brief tech presentation. The twin realms of Umbral and... Welcome to Skull and Bones. Our game takes place during the golden age of piracy in a world inspired by the beautiful yet dangerous Indian Ocean. You'll start your journey as an outcast whose goal is to become the most infamous pirate to sail these treacherous waters. After surviving a shipwreck, you begin your adventure in St. Anne, one of the pirate dens in our world. Dens are centers of pirate activity where you can craft new ships and equipment, provision for your expeditions at sea, pick up contracts, and socialize with other players. Any pirate worth their salt will tell you that preparation is key to success. Get ready for any challenges that come your way by checking that your cargo is stocked with items like food and ammunition. Once you're set, it's time to head out and explore. As a rookie pirate, you'll only have access to a small dhow, but as you progress, you'll be able to craft different ships, each with their own unique playstyle. At sea, you'll need to pay close attention to the condition of your ship and the morale of your crew. Your crew are a pack of vicious raiders and rovers who will mutiny against you, if not kept well-fed and happy. should have kept in line. I have fought your kind before. And it only led to ruin. I am the order of this world. I am its rule. You may think you have power. But your struggle is futile.
station reported a distress signal last night. They think it came from your dad's ship. The signal... It came from past the outer ring. How is that even possible? This ship has been reported missing for 20 years now. Pretty sure he's not coming back. We go there. We might not come back. What is this place? This is going to change everything. They found out we have the map. They're gonna kill us for it. If that's the case, there's only one thing we can do.